Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on guys? Back in the garage today working on Pete's 2020 Norden 901. So we got a couple of things we want to do to it. First off, we're going to mount the factory GPS mount and then we're also going to wire it up for his Garmin Zumo XT. This is actually going to be a much, much easier job than it's been on the 1290s, 990 and all the other bikes I've worked on in the past. So let me show you what, you're working, what we're working with and we're going to hop right into it. All right, so the cool thing about this bike, we know exactly where to put the GPS mount because it says it right there. Also, if we take a look over here on the side, and I'll give you the size of it here in a second, we do have a Torx bit on each side, a, a little Torx screw we need to take out. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the size of it on there. We're going to pull those out, and this ought to pop right out of place. All right, so be careful when removing this, uh, and it is a Torx T27 bit like every other bit of body work I've ever worked on on a KTM. It appears there is a little bit of a, uh, a washer on the back here, and we don't want to lose that, just like I did. So if we take a look at it, we can see there is a little nylon washer on the back. It shouldn't fall off, but I just want you to be aware of it. Now we're going to get the one out of the other side. Okay, so with the two screws removed, it just pops out of place. Okay, so I said this is gonna be a much easier job than the other KTMs I've worked on. And the reason is they have placed, uh, you know, our ACC2, which is our accessory wire, right there for us to be able to plug into. Now I am gonna cut this zip tie here, being careful not to cut my wiring. And that'll just give us a little bit more slack so we can get everything plugged in. All right, so you can see I got the zip tie cut, gives us a little bit more slack here. Now we need to get our mount ready. So this is what the factory mount looks like. I say factory, obviously you got to order it, but it's from KTM Husqvarna. I mean, if we take a look at the part number here, you can see it is a KTM part, and I will put that number up on the screen and link it down below too. So this is what we're gonna use now. So it may look different depending on what GPS you're using, but for the most part, they're gonna look about the same. You're gonna have four screw holes. We're gonna mount this through the bracket. Now in Pete's case, this is the Garmin Zumo XT, which is already set up because we had it on another motorcycle previously. So we will set this down on here, get those nuts tightened up, and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so with it mounted on there, this is what it should look like. I guess I should have said it needs to be in this orientation. Uh, otherwise, if you do it this way, it's going to be upside down. It's going to look ridiculous. So that's on there. Now we got to get our wiring hooked up, and then we just got two more screws to put in, and we'll have this thing on the bike. Okay, so next up, we need to strip a little bit of wire back, but not a ton. Should be good. And now we're gonna use a couple of these little blades. If you don't have these, here's a kit that I got from Harbor Freight. It's got a million of them in there. And then I'm not gonna show it on camera, but basically we're gonna insert the, the, the wire in here and then we're just gonna use the crimpers to crimp it into place. So there it is with the blades installed. If you're wondering why I have two different sizes, it's because I just ran out. So now we're gonna get these plugged in up front so we can get power to the unit. So it's gonna be a little hard to show this, so I'll show you after the fact. We're going, the brown is our ground wire, while the, the, the uh, black wire with a little bit of red on it is our power wire. So we're going on the Garmin unit, we're gonna plug the black wire into the brown wire, and we're going to plug the red wire into the black and red wire. All right, so just to reiterate, we've got the uh, ground wire going into the, the ground wire on the bike, which is brown, we have the hot wire going into the uh, hot wire on the bike, which is uh, black and red. Okay, so before we go to button up everything, we want to do a test here. So we've got the GPS mounted on, on the mount. Obviously, we have no power to it. I'm going to have uh, Pete flip on the key, and if everything goes as planned, this thing should power up. So key's coming on right now, and the Garmin's powering on. So that means this Garmin is going to kick on whenever the switch is on, and when we turn the bike off, while it may stay powered up via battery, it is not going to drain your battery. You do have the option to uh, hook it up so it's constant hot, but we've decided to do it on the accessory switch. So now we can get to work on the rest of the stuff. And one thing we need to do here is clean this up. We have all of this wiring that's going to it. So we're going to grab a zip tie or two and just tidy this up so we can tuck that down into this little cavity here so it's not just uh, you know freewheeling or freeballing its way around in there. All right, so we got everything zip tied. Now something to be aware of, 
especially with the uh, Zumo XT, you got this little cover. Make sure you leave it out because the last thing you want to do is tuck it down in there. But we're going to pop this down into place. We're going to get our screws back in that we took out earlier and then we'll show you the finished product. All right, so that's what it looks like mounted on. Now we still have the little cover piece here we can pull out of place. You can see we ran the wire right underneath the center there. And the last thing we have to do is just pop our GPS into place. We've got all sorts of cool, nice screens. Let's see what it looks like all lit up. There it goes, nice. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Like I promised, really simple to install a GPS on one of these Nord 901s. It's gonna be the same thing for a KTM 890, 890R, whatever the case may be. They made it super simple by having the wiring there. Only two screws to take out and then just get your GPS mounted onto the uh, factory mount. Like I said, I'll link that part number down below and then you're done. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything we did in today's video, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.